Hey guys, thank you very much for joining in. Um, it's your one and only Waka Waka doctor here. Please, can someone just wave to me so that I know you can hear me? Just wave to me. Hello, Frank. Um, hello, Yeti Martins. I can see everyone coming in. Please, can you just wave to me so that I know you're, you can hear me and I'm audible? <laughs> my forehead. What is wrong with my forehead, for God's sake? <laughs> okay. Okay, so you can hear me loud and clear. Uh, thank you very much for everyone joining. Um, I'd say we, we start calling this the Waka Waka Doctor TV show where we discuss everything about migration. So basically moving to different countries across the world. Um, I use all my platforms on social media, my YouTube channel, my Instagram channel, my Twitter page to educate people as to how to move to different countries. So if you want to know how to move to different countries across the world, your first point of call should be my YouTube channel where I've discussed how to move to. I'm not loud enough. You can hear me. Where I've discussed how to move to different countries across the world um, about 30, 35 of them. So if you want to move to France, Portugal, the UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Republic of Ireland, um, um, the UK itself, Georgia, Italy, any country you can think of, Spain, Malta, Switzerland, you can find it right there on my YouTube channel. And that's the first place you want to go to. Okay. Now, Last uh, week, we talked about moving to the UK using the new healthcare visas, okay? And I have a video that I dropped on my YouTube channel. You can watch there. So if you're into healthcare, if you're not even into healthcare, this visa is the easiest way to go to the UK now, even if you're not into healthcare at all and you want to go into the UK. The new healthcare visa that just started two days ago, is the easiest way to get into UK. And there's a video on my YouTube channel that I dropped a couple of days ago last week that you can watch to tell you the process and the steps. Today, we are basically talking about another visa that is rolling up, rolling out in the UK uh, in March, and it's called the Scale Up Visa, which would give you an opportunity to go into the UK without job sponsorship without a job without a sponsorship and it's amazing it's coming out and we want to talk to you about it okay people who are asking me for the link of my youtube channel my youtube channel is waka waka doctor if you go there just open youtube waka waka doctor come out you will see a list of all my videos just click on videos and the list of all my videos will come out when you check out the list of my videos, just look for the one healthcare visa. You look at the topic, it's easy. Healthcare visa, you see it come out there. Okay, so today we're talking about the scale up visa, which is for you see, someone is asking me what is my YouTube channel? What would my YouTube channel be? It's Waka Waka Doctor now. <laughs> oh, my YouTube channel is Waka Waka Doctor. Waka Waka Doctor, please. <laughs> Anyway, we're talking about the um, the the link for the healthcare scheme is right there on my YouTube channel. The description box, the description box of the video, you will see there several links there, several links there. Okay, so today we're talking about the skill up visa, where you can come to the UK without you know, having a job or sponsorship or things like that. And I brought a guest just the way we do it. I brought a guest who would talk about um, all these things, okay? And if you have questions, just put down your questions in the comment section and I would do my best to answer them. So let me bring up my friend. Let me bring up my friend so that we can start, okay? And... And then we discuss 
through this not fully. Hey! Hey! We're okay. back I'm again. Going to work. <laughs> I'm good. We are the tag team champions. Tag yes, team. so. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for coming again. The last one was a bomb. Like, we dissected the healthcare visa. And for those who have not watched that video, all you need to do is go on my YouTube channel now. We have a video there that I did with Faith Ojon about moving to the UK using the new healthcare visa. It was amazing. Faith yeah. Ojon lives in the UK as well. And she has several videos on her YouTube, on her Instagram, that talks about the whole process. The processing usually takes about three weeks. We said three, three yeah. weeks, isn't it? Yeah, about three weeks. So you can do the visa. If you start now, you get all the requirements, start and apply. The fee is, is half. You don't need to pay the full fee. Three weeks, you get the visa, okay? Go on all, on, on, on our YouTube video, whether Faith or Jones um, YouTube or my YouTube channel, you would see the process explained there and perfect. Now, yeah. let's talk about Guys, um, someone is saying the audio is a bit messy. Is it true? Yeah, I think it's a bit. I use a headset or. Okay, maybe maybe it's because of my headset now. Let's, oh, this I think be better. Yeah, it's way better. Yeah. Way better now. Way better now. Okay, yeah. so we use we use this instead. Uh, we use this instead. So, Faith, let's talk about this new visa pathway. Tell us about this new visa pathway. Okay, you said the scale of visa, you don't need to have a job. You need to have a job. <laughs> it's the high potential individual visa that you don't need to have a job. That one, it's, it's, um, we don't know when it's coming out. So the scale of visa will be launched in spring. So the UK government said it will be launched in spring. So spring starts from March till when? Is it till April? Till April, I think, yeah. Yeah, so between March and April, that is when the visa will be launched. So hopefully it should be launched next month, hopefully. So the scale of visa is similar to the skilled worker visa. But the scale of visa, you do not need sponsorship, but you need a job. So the difference is that the scale of visa, you after getting a job offer you can just apply for your visa and move to the uk you do not require to you don't need to wait for your employer to send or sponsorship and all of that back and forth that is um the scale of visa and also the salary requirements for the scale of visa is thirty three thousand pounds per annum and the company that will have to hire you has to be a scale up company so it's not just any company so um, what is a scale-up company? I wrote a note about it, like, just to explain, like, um, what a scale-up company is all about. And this um, visa, um, this scale-up visa leads to settlement. So a scale-up company is a company that has experienced a rapid growth of about 20% on annual income, and also in the last three years. And within, in that last three years, each year, they've employed, like, 10 people into the company so that is a company that is considered a scale-up company so in case some of you are asking okay how can we figure out how where to find a scale-up company i was a waka waka doctor on his um platform so i will send you the link how they can find scale-up companies so there are a lot of growing um businesses now and they need skilled workers so but this scale up um, visa you need, they are attracting high skilled workers so this one there is no cutting corners you have to be skilled so if you are into tech it you need to be skilled you need to be experienced it needs to be something you're already doing okay so and the scale up visa you is the visa is for like three years but you can also extend it while you're still in the uk and the good thing is you can switch employer on this visa. So we all know that if, and it's also the point. So the visa that, is for three years. The visa is for three years and you can switch. You can extend it. The visa, the visa is up to five years. But, you know, if you're moving to the UK, you first get three years, then you get another three years. But after spending five years in the UK on a skilled worker or any visa that has to do with work, this scale of visa, after spending five years, 
you can then apply for indefinite leave to remain. Then you don't need visa again. You can just stay in the UK. So that's and if I if I come in on the visa for one company, I can switch again to an yeah. You can, you can switch employer and you can extend your visa. On you can wow. extend your visa, yeah. So you can switch okay. Employer. So yeah. one of the requirements you've mentioned is that you need to have a job, right? Yeah, you need to have a job. Offer. How do we know those companies that can give people jobs? So it has to be a scale-up company. So you have to search for scale-up companies, then apply to them. So okay. I'll send you a link where um, you can find scale-up companies. So the link has um, scale-up company listed. So you can just go to the companies, then okay. check okay. their page if they have job and apply. So, but it has to be a scale-up company. All right. So, guys, it means that if you're watching this, I am going to leave this video on my YouTube channel and also on my Instagram feed. And I will put the list of companies or the link of companies, of scale-up companies. You can click on the link and then you would be able to know those companies that are employing people. Um, someone is asking here, what fields or sector are eligible for this visa? So there are no details about that yet. So the government just, um, just like the government did for the healthcare um, care visa, they just announced it. Then when they were ready to launch the visa, they announced the requirement. So now they, there's no detail like requirement, eligibility requirement, or like full details about the visa. The visa. So I'm hoping that, or we are hoping that once it's launched, the government will now, usually they'll drop like a list of what they expect everyone applying for the visa to the el eligibility criteria obviously you still need proof of funds anyway so any most visa if you're coming to the uk always need proof of funds except the company that is hiring you decide to cover for you yeah so will will people be with this visa um so it's similar to the skilled worker visa. The only difference is that you you need for the skilled worker visa you need sponsorship. Scale up visa you do not need sponsorship. So yes, you should be able to move to the UK with your family because again the salary is more. The company has to pay you minimum of thirty three thousand pounds per annum as salary. That's not bad. Um, something else that came up in our discussion, you and I, about the global talent visa. Yeah, and people people have been asking about that global talent visa. Can you tell us a little about it? Uh global talent visa almost is <laughs> is one very huge visa. So I think or we maybe we should we should talk about the global talent visa in another video, should we? I'm thinking so because it's long. We we have to talk okay. about tech, arts, culture, life, and it's a very long, detailed visa, and. You know, they've actually released requirements, how to go about this, how to get adjustment, all of those. So it's a long, <laughs> a long okay. detailed. Okay. Um, so there's also, aside the skilled worker it's visa, okay. the one that is coming, the high potential individual visa, that one to, um, no date on when it will be launched, but that one, they are trying to attract high potential individuals that graduates from top global university to the UK. So this one, you do not need a job. You do not need sponsorship. Okay. And uh, someone is asking, do you think IELTS is a requirement for this visa? Yes, you need proof of English language. Okay, guys, for those of you who want to do IELTS and find it difficult, IELTS is one of the simplest exams you can do in the world. And I'm going to tell you two places you can go easily to get your IELTS done. One of them is Tuteria Core. He's on Instagram. You can look for them. Tuteria Core. T-U-T-E-R-I-A-C-O-R-P. Another one you can always use is Alpha IELTS Gurus. Alpha IELTS Gurus. You can check this two of them out. Take it again. Tuteria Core. T-U-T-E-R-I-A-C-O-R-P. And the second one is Alpha IELTS Guru. Alpha A L P H A I E L T S G U R U S. Both of them can help you actualize your um, IELTS. It's a simple exam, and they will give you materials you can use. Uh, Faith, is there anything else we need to know about this scale-up visa? Um, 
the only thing is that um, there's not so much details about it. So everything you just talked about is what I've said. It's so not detailed. But one thing for sure is the visa will be launched in spring 2022. So keep your ears open. So if you are a skilled worker, maybe you're working. I'm sure you guys know what a skilled job is because not all jobs qualify as a skilled job. If you're a customer service, please, it's not a skilled job. If you're a plumber, <laughs> that's <laughs> because I get messages from people saying, I'm a customer service, can I get a sponsorship job in the UK? I'm like, no, you cannot. If you work in administration, it's just, you cannot get. So, you know, skilled job, I don't know. So you guys go and do research. What are the skilled jobs? So you will know uh, the job so they are really looking for people in the skilled industry and you have to be experienced you have to be working they, there's no requirements on how many years of work experience they need yet but i'm sure when the full details come out definitely waka waka doctor will come give you give you guys the of full course details. of course so look guys what we're talking about here is simple okay two things that i need you to know the UK at the moment is looking for people, looking for you and I, looking for people all across the world. They want foreigners. And what they've done is employ a way to make visa access easier. So they've come up with the UK healthcare visa, for instance, which we discussed in our previous video um, that gives the opportunity for you to come to the UK, whether you have, you know, UK um, health background or not the easiest way to go into the uk now that is it okay and we both have videos on our youtube channel that you can watch to talk about the application the process and everything that is entailed another one that's coming up in march now this uk healthcare visa that we talked about just started february 15th a couple of days ago so you know that things are on the roll now this one we are talking about now is the scale up visa which is for skilled migrants something that you know similar to the one Australia has and, and Canada has, for instance. So they want skilled migrants to come into the UK. And what they've done is to roll out these visas called the UK Skill Up Visa, which is starting in March. Okay. So we want you guys to know that the UK is planning something good for skilled migrants. So if you need to do IELTS now, which will be a requirement, go and do your IELTS. Make sure your CV is sharp and smooth and packaged, okay? Um, these visas normally take about three weeks to process, so it's going to be something very fast. Again, this video, I'm going to leave it up here on YouTube. It's going to be on my Instagram channel as well. And I will put the links where you can apply for the visa, where you can apply to know the skill up companies, which is one of the requirements as well. I want you to go and follow Faith Ojon, okay? Um, I'll just put up our handle here, Faith Ojon, okay? Faith Ojon. She's on Instagram, she's on Twitter, she's on YouTube, uh, and you'd see everything that has to do with migrating to the UK via you know, all these visas that are coming up. If you have any questions, you can always send to me. You can always send to her as well. Faith, is there any other thing you need them to know about this scale up visa before we go? Okay, so the last thing I have to say is like, um, you need to really research, okay? You need to stay updated because once these things are out, even if I would say like from now, you can start searching for scale up companies. There's you can search for scale up companies that has there to sponsor like that have the license to sponsor your visa you can still search for them i think i made a video on how to search for companies that have the license to sponsor your visa so you can still check for these scale up companies and search if they have license and apply to their jobs and hopefully if you get a job if you move to the uk you can always switch visa you can switch from the skilled worker visa to a skill up visa if you decide because this visa is you can switch you can extend you can it leads to um it's an points-based immigration it leads to settlements in the uk so yeah so you instead of now you don't need long. sponsorship <laughs> you can sponsor yourself you only need to get a job and it has a pathway to citizenship which is what i know you want there's a pathway to residence citizenship, which is what I know you want. You know, so do not say we've not done anything for you. We've given you, we're telling you now, we're giving you the hot gist as it's coming out. Next month, the scale-up visa is coming out. So 
start doing your research now list of skill up companies which will be in the in the in the link of this video um you can also check out you know how to do your ielts package your ielts make sure you get between six and seven you know that kind of thing make sure you study for it um and and start planning because it's going to be out soon all right thank you very much and also don't forget follow faith ojon she talks about moving to the uk okay she's following talking about moving to the uk faith ojon talks about moving to the uk i talk about moving across the world okay so <laughs> i talk about moving everywhere everywhere we'll leave this video on my feed and it will be on my youtube channel as well thank you very much guys for joining in thank um, you faith, me. We'll, we'll do another one again shortly bye bye guys bye.